What do you think we should do? So, basically, um, you know, if you just play the song for him, as you are now, it's going to kind of like screw everything up because he's going to be pissed off at you. But if you played it as somebody else, he'd steal it from you because he knew it wasn't part of the band members. So you'd pretty much have to play it as someone else. Now, I'm not sure if that exactly means you can play it as a Deku or a, or a Goron, but I know you can play it as Young Link and still get it. I'm a cow. What have you been doing this whole time? Having the band leader's been working for you. I don't care. Whatever he said. Whoa, that theme is so familiar. Yeah, we all know where that theme's from. Original Legend of Zelda. Game over. Theme. I think I heard somewhere before that if you if you wait for him long enough, he starts playing the Mario Bros. theme, the Super Mario Bros. theme. But I've waited around a little bit. I never heard him change the tune. I've always, I don't know. Cal, how was it? Did you get the eggs back? Uh, no. Uh, couldn't do it after all. Have you been to see Lulu out in the back by the ocean? Ever since the pirates stole her eggs, she's just been standing out there gazing at the scene sign. Macau, we need those eggs safe so Lulu can get her voice back. We've grown accustomed to life in a peaceful sea. The only one among the Zora tribe who is still able to go to blows with those wild pirates. What? <laughs> It is you, the blood of Zoran heroes flowing within you. Yeah, whatever. We're still keeping Lulu's problem a secret from the other band members. We've all been looking forward to our Carnival of Time concert. And I can't tell them it's canceled because Lulu can't sing, can I? Anyway, anyway, did you get those in the bottle? One bottle can only hold one egg, so you can never have too many empty bottles. I told I told you that the beavers above the waterfall in the Zora Hall coast have some empty bottles, right? If you don't have any yet, Macau, you should go there before heading off to the Pirate's Fortress. Okay. Jeez, there's a lot of writing, a lot of reading. Reading and writing and... <gasps> no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. That doesn't matter. Um, Because it's Zelda, I mean, if it was Super Mario World, then yeah, I would have been screwed, but because I want to say goodbye in every single episode. But, you know, oh well. So, like, let's say if you just play the whole session... This is what he says. Were you guys secretly writing the song behind my back again? Isn't songwriting the job of the band leader? What, you're not happy with my songs? No, I'm not. Do you want to know why I'm not happy with your songs? They suck. And your stupid bone freaking piano sucks butt. It's horrible. Like, actually, what you'd hear him, if it wasn't your, it wasn't you, he would be playing it. And he'd like he'd make it really jazzy and nice, but you actually do get to hear it later anyway, even if you didn't do this thing at all. So, well, this, what's this guy doing? Shut up! I'm busy right now. Ah, oh, Mikael, you caught me. Uh, uh, Lulu's been looking kind of weird lately. I was worried. It, it's not like I was spying on her or anything. I'm not some kind of weirdo or pervert or some sort of slimy, slimy. Ah. Uh, fish or anything uh yeah i just re remember that i have somewhere to be what what time is it uh yeah to be there like now uh see ya Let's follow him at least chase him so where is he gonna go let's see it figure it out oh he just goes up here so this little area up here is actually just kind of like the viewing area up at the top it's very interesting though, because there's a, a, one Zora up there at first, and now there's two Zoras up here. I'm a cow! Hey, what's Lulu doing now? I'm so jealous of you to always be able to breathe the same air as Lulu. And you know a side of Lulu that I don't know? You know her private side, don't you? That's wonderful. I won't ask you to introduce me. A pictograph will do. Show me Lulu's private side. Uh, uh, if it's about Lulu, I want to know everything. I'll take anything, you know? I'm the consummate fan. What a f***ing pervert. Shut up, I'm busy. Don't talk to me. God. I never knew how much perverty they were. Uh. Oh, shoot. And back here is just a stupid Zora, Zora shop. 
All it's got is a 90 rupee hero shield, arrows, and a red potion. That's all it has. Nothing special. So, that's pretty much the Zora Hall, so let's see what's going on out back. Whoa. Wait. Lulu. What's going on? Great Bay Temple had swimming prohibited due to murky water. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? That sad face is trying to tell you something. You can see it in her expression. Oh, that's sad. So she lost her eggs, basically. That's the whole gist of everything. So, you know. That's what's going on, basically. And we need to get the eggs back. And they're at the Gerudo Fortress, right? So, pretty scary stuff. So, I guess the temple's up ahead, because this is the second one, and the first one was near the entrance, the second one's here. If you guys remember this, that that's what's supposed to go right at the very beginning. And what I think's very cool is that you don't have to go through the whole Zora Hall again. You can just swim on the outside and you'll be okay. Stupid bonefish, whatever. I, you know, I would want to see what they're called, but I really don't care that much, actually. So. I thought I got a fairy. I don't know why I'm hurt so much now. Oh, well, you know. So over there is, like, an area we can't even reach yet, and there's just, like, all these rocks and boulders blocking the way. And there's that over area over there with the beavers and stuff. But I'm just wasting my time. I mean, we're going to have to go there anyway to get the beavers. But we can't get there. It's way up high, way up too high to, 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 to reach. To reach, man. Let me get. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange you glad I didn't say banana. 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 I mean, this is South Nintendo Park, right? I might as well put some South Park stuff in it. Yeah. You know, it's like the whole name thing. It's like, oh, it's, you know, it's talking about South Park and Nintendo. You think you're going to have a lot of South Park and a lot of Nintendo. Nintendo, I mean, I might have some stuff that's not Nintendo. I, I mean, I've been thinking about some games that are definitely not Nintendo. But, you know, it's just... The South Park thing, it's like, I don't... I don't put much South Park stuff into it. I don't upload South Park videos and I don't do Nintendo stuff. I'm just an LP here. It's just a name that, you know, during the time, I like South Park. I mean, you can quote from it a lot. So... You know, and it's always kind of thing, like, you always have some regret, like, why couldn't it just be something that I know I like, you know, not a show that I have to, like, you know, maybe I won't like later on, but, you know, like a fetish. I'm not saying South Park's a fetish, because it definitely isn't, but, you know, something that it's not, like, you can lose interest in, or you're not going to be obsessed with later on. Whatever. That's just the whole thing with the name, I guess. But if you go up there, there's actually a heart piece. But, you need the scarecrow thing, because there's going to be, like, a beanstalk thing there. And it'll go, but it'll go out, like, way far, and you'll need to be able to use the Scarecrow. But however, you won't be able to get up there with the Scarecrow, because there's nothing for you to detach it to, you know? You can't just, like, get a chain or a link somehow. There's no way. Hmm. Not weird. And those little islands out there, that's actually another mini game, but you can only get after you beat the, um, dungeon. So if you look over here, you'll see that there's, uh, some weird platform kind of board stuff. Hey, hang on. Doesn't this look a little strange? I mean, if you have the map, it's super easy, but you, like, all you gotta do, really... I don't know if you need your shield or not. I think you do. Well, you no, know, you don't. See, they just all go off, and it's just like... Yeah, none of them go anywhere. But if you look at the map, it's like, oh, which one could it be? Which one could it be? Oh, no. Oh, no way. But if you don't have the map, you're just gonna have to guess. I mean, you don't use any magic or anything, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? Hmm. Whoa. It's Gerudo's Fortress. That is some pretty epic music right there. That's awesome. All these pirates and stuff. We gotta take a picture of them. Oh, shoot! Oh, they caught me, man! Oh, well. Oh, they throw you over. That's what, I guess, that's what this lane's here for. And this is where you're supposed to find that one guy. A pervert. I think he tells you something else, though, if you get caught or talk to him again. The pirate's fortune is usually close off by an iron gate, so you can't get in from here. 
And even if you did, it's not likely the pirates will welcome you. Yeah, I guess I would need something to cover my face, or at least something to keep me unnoticed. Hmm. What do I have that would keep me unnoticed from anybody? Well, my friends, that's where the stone mask comes into play. Oh yeah. No, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's weird because it's in it's in the other area, so most people wouldn't really expect. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the east before I go over to the west, even though they tell you specifically to go over there. But I mean, you could try it out yourself. I mean, they do not detect you at all. You get on. You go in front. You go up. All you need is her face, I think. Um. Yeah, we'll keep it. And there you go. Once you take it off, they automatically, you know, get you. Guess what? Wanna know what's really cool? Oh, it doesn't work on these guys. It's because it's like, how would they be able to steer the boat, even though there's no steering wheel in the first place? Oh, well, I guess everything can't be totally, you know, perfect. So, take a ride cruise around, you know, maybe if you want to go down here a little bit, you can. Let's watch out. So, um, here. I'm gonna die. Oh, they got me. They got me. I mean, I was really close, though, to be honest. It's kind of like, of course, they would have got me. Oh, well. So, I mean, in my practice run, which, yeah, I know, believe it or not, I actually did a practice run of this. I only did it up until this point, so I haven't really done anything, you know, in the Grudo Fortress, really. My practice run. Oh, sweet. So what you want to do is you just, I guess, I mean, maybe you could go in between, but the safest thing would just be wait for that gap, because it's just like a gap of those four things. Kind of like in Super Mario World, where those boo buddy guys, whatever, and then the circle, you know, there's always a gap. No circles. I know. It's like... I'm MC, don't know how to paralyze words. I got so many rhyme, and I sleep with all the girls. When there's more than one of something, you're supposed to pluralize. But I never learned that throughout all the year I've been alive great stuff great stuff uh, so you can just swim around here there's rupees and stuff but really I mean does it really matter does it really matter no not really it doesn't there's a little area here you can't really get to it just kind of cruising you know just cruising well like cruising for a bruising uh, so we really have no way to get in. I mean, this would be an entrance, but it's kind of sealed off, so we don't really have any way to get in there. Stupid fish, those fish bone, whatever. They're annoying. They're so annoying. They're so annoying. Stop being so annoying. Ah, you're so annoying. You're so annoying. Stop being annoying. Okay, so this is the Gruta Fortress, and it will get fun. Trust me, it gets fun. Take off your mat. Take off. Ah, oh, I thought it was on the other one. I thought it was on the uh, right, like it normally is, but it was on the down. So I'm just like, ah, it's like take it off. So I don't usually have two masks, but the only that's the only reason I put it down because you can't put your mask over one another like you could have done in Ocarina of Time, which that's another thing that annoys me. So like here, if I have a mask, wait. Oh, it doesn't have. It doesn't allow you to do it if you're wearing it. It's like, well, why can't you just put it on and then take it off? Like, like, I mean, like, you know, why can't you just, like, have me take it off automatically, even though I'm wearing it? I mean, they should have, I mean, if anything, it should have been the other way around, because this game is specifically, you know, meant for masks and stuff, especially since you have a whole screen for it. <sighs> okay. Um. So now we're actually going to want the Goron mask. Interestingly enough, so, in order to pound this switch into the ground. I don't know what that target's for. I mean, I, get, I don't think you can shoot rupees with that. You shoot and get rupees out of that. So, that switch opens up that little iron gate. I mean, what, what are you going to expect? I mean, what, what do you think was going to happen? A bridge was going to get me right to the end? No way. I know, weird. It's weird. <laughs> it's fun to make advantage, you know, make fun of, like, Link. I mean, I guess it is. He is eight years old. And eight years old. Yeah. That was right. Why I, I hate it when I try to correct my stuff, and I have no reason to do so. It's just like I'm just correct my, correcting myself for the sake of doing it. It's like there's no reason to. 
It's annoying. I don't know. It's 10 o'clock right now, so I'm kind of a little hazy. I mean, I would have been a lot better if I wasn't, you know, if it wasn't so late. Oh, well, I mean, this is the day after I got back, so I might as well do some recording, right? Some normal fish here. Catch a fish one in a bottle. Actually, you can't do that, but whatever. So, yeah, just some puzzles, some cool puzzles and stuff and everything. I have to say, it's pretty cool. It is. It's pretty cool. So, okay, we can't go through there. So, let's try to figure this out. Hmm. So, we can break through this. We can just go and cross bones and everything. Uh, hit that thing. So, if you notice, yeah, there's this little part only. What you can do is you can sink and then just get a little treasure chest for yourself. I said get a little treasure chest for yourself. I think it's just 20 rupees. Oh, I'm right. I'm right. It's 20 rupees. I mean, I haven't even played this Grid of Fortress in such a long time. I'm awesome. So let's see. We want to pull it. There you go. You only have to, I mean, you only have to pull it really like one time because even if it's only halfway there, you can still fit through. You know, I mean, it's not like Ocarina of Time where you have to actually, like, really, you know. Where, like, it does it, it does it, like, every, like, fourth of a block. And it's like, why can't you just do a whole block if that's all there is to move it with, you know? You know, so that's part kind of annoying. Uh, I've been making a lot of references lately. A lot of references. So, obviously, unless you're an idiot, you'd want to go on the top, but you don't want to go on the top for that part. Definitely not. Otherwise, you pretty much go back out the very beginning and to go through all this stupid stuff again I don't want to swear even though I've already sworn you know I'll just I'll just keep it on the lower side I guess you know you know the F word's okay to say the S word no way you don't wanna, you don't want to say that stuff that's bad that's bad I think another rupee chest I don't really think it's anything important so um, heart piece it's really simple to get actually so um okay so what you gotta do is there's this gate here that'll open but it's like a, it's like timed and everything but I think they're both timed actually so what you gotta do like you can you could punch through these if you're gone but it's like I mean they're just like normal crates I think you could even go on top of them like that but obviously you want to break them so they're out of your way so I'm just gonna take a few minutes do that I'll see you guys back here oh hey look a ruby Two rupees, amazing. Ah. Sorry about that, guys. Now we're back. We're um gonna step on the switch. See, it, it gets both of these actually. I think or not. Maybe just gets. Oh, that switch gets this. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, we can't get that. We can't get that. We can't get that. We can't get that.